Hey guys, Dow Phoenix here, and it's been almost a month since this little bad boy came out. And damn, has it been hard to find. Now, I fortunately was able to get one at lunch. I had to wait at my local Walmart for four hours in line to get this, and I barely got it. I was number four out of six in line. As you guys might remember when I did that video, I was talking about there was only six at the store and a lot of stores. And since then, it seems like everybody's been getting shipments of like one to three systems about once a week, if that even. And dang, is this hard to find. Now, it seems like they're starting to pick up more on the shipments. Maybe you can find one this Christmas. But if you really want this and you just can't find it, I want to present five alternatives to the NES Classic Edition. All right. Now, number one probably shouldn't come as a surprise to any, and it's probably the best alternative, to be honest, and that is the OG Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, why is this a better alternative? Now, it does have composite video as opposed to HDMI like we like nowadays, So, and it doesn't have save states. So those are two benefits that this guy right here definitely has, but... There is one huge benefit that this thing does not have, and that is cartridges. You've got all your original Nintendo cartridges that you can play. There are over 700 games released in North America, and uh, it's just a fantastic way to game. It really is. This thing is just awesome. You can play with the original NES controllers, or there's even some great aftermarket controllers out there. Also... If you think, well, it is expensive to buy those games like Punch Out for 30 bucks, Contra for like 40 to 50 bucks, Zelda for 35 bucks, you know, that kind of stuff, you're like, oh man, that's way too much. Get one of these bad boys. Get one of these multi carts right here. Uh, this actually has 143 games. It says 100, but it actually has 143 games, and nearly all of them are really good. Um, so that's going to dwarf the size of the library of the NES Classic. And this thing cost me like $22. So between that and buying an original NES, probably with hookups and everything like that, it's going to run you just a tad bit more than this, but you're going to have a lot more gaming action up ahead. Now, if you're thinking, well, I just have to have HDMI composite, it's not going to do. And I'm not going to spend a lot of money to modify my NES in some kind of effort to do that. Well, number two might just be for you because there is a clone NES game system called the Gamers Tech 8-Bit HD. It's actually about to release very soon, and it's only $49.99, but it will play all of your original NES cartridges, and it will do so in HDMI. So if that's something you just have to have, you should definitely consider the Gamers Tech. Now, it hasn't released yet, so I have no idea what the reviews are like. I don't know how good of a system it is going to be as far as that. But I did see uh, Gamester81 do a review on it. It's pretty good. It did have some flaws. Uh, but overall, if you must have an HD NES, it's a great and affordable way to do it. Now, there's also, of course, in the same category, the Retro ABS as well as the Analog NT both of those systems will work beautifully uh, playing your NES game in HD, but they do require quite a bit more of an investment than the Gamers Tech. So I guess if you're just casually getting into it, the Gamers Tech might be a great way to start off. And then if you really started getting into retro, then consider investing in one of those other systems. Now, that being said, maybe you don't want to mess with cartridges. Maybe you still want your games in HD, but you don't want to mess with cartridges. Well, that's where we're going to get to number three here. Now, number three, as nobody should be surprised by, is the Raspberry Pi 3. The Raspberry Pi 3 is a little motherboard that you can put inside of all kinds of things. It's designed to be an all-purpose computing device that can handle anything from household tasks like uh, controlling lighting and air conditioning to... Uh, you know, just various other things. I don't know everything that'll do, but it can do quite a bit of stuff. But one thing it does awesomely is it handles video game emulation. So you can get yourself a small box about this size or even smaller, put that Raspberry Pi 3 in there, 
and just download thousands of ROMs to it of any kind of system, not just the NES, but you also can do Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, and so on with that system. And uh, it's actually fairly easy to set up a Raspberry Pi 3. Um, doesn't really take a lot of setup. There's a lot of tutorials on the internet that will uh, show you exactly what you need to do. So you could probably have that thing up and running maybe within an hour or less. If that even, that might be a conservative estimate. But uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 kits from companies like Vilros will definitely be a great way to do that. And you get it for about roughly the same cost as this, maybe a little bit more. And uh, you can, you know, pair it with your favorite Bluetooth or wire USB controllers. So you have some great gaming times up ahead. But maybe you don't want to get into complicated setup of something like a Raspberry Pi 3. You still want games in HD. And you don't want to mess with cartridges. Okay, well there is a fourth alternative that I'm going to talk about. And that is the Retrobit Generations. This is a system that has more than three times the games that this bad boy does, including games that never were released. And it includes systems such as Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Arcade, and even Game Boy, not just NES. And there's an excellent lineup of games. They might not be as prolific as Super Mario Brothers or Legend of Zelda, but they're still awesome games. And I think most retro enthusiasts will certainly enjoy the lineup of games that the Retro Bit has. And number five, as nobody may be surprised, is to emulate. It doesn't cost you a dime. You can download all the ROMs and emulators you want. Now, bear in mind, there might be some legal issues there. So I'm not going to link any specific sites or whatever. Just use Google. Google is your friend, right? Uh, but anyways, emulation is key. And, you know, maybe some people might say, I don't want to play emulators on my phone because of touchscreen controls. Or I don't want to do one on a computer keyboard. Or I don't want to have to sit at the computer with a controller. I totally get your point there, which is why you may already have a device that is excellent for emulation that allows you to play on the TV with a gamepad so you can just play like you want. And that is the Nintendo Wii. The Nintendo Wii is a system that is easily modded. Uh, it only takes a couple of minutes to get it modded, and after that you can load up all the ROMs and emulators you want. It runs up games all the way up to the Nintendo 64, you don't have to play just NES, uh, you can play from literally thousands of games via emulators. And these emulators look really good too, you know. I know the Wii isn't in HD, but you can get component cables for really cheap, and in 480p these games look fantastic. You really aren't going to get much of a visual difference between 480p and 720p in these old games anyways. And you, like I said, you may already have the Wii, and if not, you can get it for most likely less than it's going to cost you to get this. And then after that, you just have to buy yourself an SD card. Overall, you might be at the same cost as this, but you can play thousands of games on your TV instead of 30. So those are all great alternatives to the NES Classic. Now, I really like my NES Classic, and it's not going anywhere, but um, eventually its course will run dry, and it's going to more or less just sit right there or something like that, maybe up here, and it's going to sit there. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun with it in the meantime. But if you can't get one for your kids or your family or spouse or whatever this holiday season, consider some of those other alternatives. So hopefully you guys enjoy the content of this video. Let me know what you think of these alternatives. And if you have some alternatives of your own you want to discuss, let us know in the comments below. But till then, down Phoenix out.